This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. Hi everyone, so the question is, why isn't my taxes, my sales tax, showing up on my product? Um, and I'm going to show you some common solutions to this. Uh, so if I went into my online store here, And I went to my cart um, here and I wanted to check out. And it says taxes and shipping calculated at checkout. Well, I already went through kind of the kind of stuff in this. And all I see is my shipping. Um, I don't see any taxes on this product. So I want to know why. So I'm going to show you how to uh, figure out why this is the case. And if you go into, uh, you're going to want to go into your settings. Okay, and then you're going to want to go to taxes down here. All right, so this is where your taxes are kind of calculated. And it says for the United States, I'm collecting taxes. For the rest of the world, I'm not collecting. Okay, so the product that I tested for was going to the United Kingdom. So, so I'm not going to collect any taxes on it. Okay, now what if it's for the United States? Uh, so if I click into this, you're going to see calculate taxes automatically. And you can see that my store is set up in Ohio. So the United States only, you know, it only charges taxes for your physical presence, okay? So if you had an Ohio uh, presence, if you had a New York presence, um, if you had, you know, an office in New Jersey, then you would add another physical presence here and then you would collect those taxes. Now, if you didn't want um, Shopify to calculate your taxes automatically, you can unclick this button, okay? And you can reset to all default tax rates. So if you clicked this, it would you it would remove any tax over as you already added, and it would reset all your tax rates to the state. So in Alabama, there's a 4% state tax. Uh, Arizona, there's a 5.6% state tax. Alaska doesn't take any out. So it's really going to depend on where your customer is buying from, where these sales taxes are going to be uh, added, and how much is going to be added, if any at all. Uh, so you're going to have to kind of figure that out. Um, like I said, usually this is fine just to keep it as calculated taxes automatically to make it a little bit easier. Um, and you can also add, um, you know, tax overrides by region-based tax rates uh, for specific product collections or shipping rates when shipping to designated areas. Uh, so, you, so you can do it by a product, you can do it by a collection, um, or you can even add um, a shipping tax um, if you required some shipping taxes on there as well. Uh, so you can do all these things through your, your tax items in your settings. Um, and also it mentions here, make sure that you're charging taxes on your product variants. Um, if you have product variants, so here's, uh, it's showing me just, you know, I have a physical gift card right here. I'm not charging taxes on them, but if I wanted to, all I have to do is go in here and click charge taxes and just hit save. And it will add the taxes um, where the taxes were due. It says fail to say product variants because it's a, it's a digital one. Um, but that is where, there's where that would be. Um, and if you go into your test product, make sure also that you have charge taxes enabled in the product itself. So if you scroll down to your pricing, make sure that this mark is checked, charge taxes on this product. If this isn't um, marked, you're not gonna be charging any taxes um, and you won't definitely won't see it in the checkout. Hope this helps and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please subscribe. And if you need extra help, visit AskQuesty.com and send us your questions.